Businesses have to be crystal clear on what it is they believe. And, and I know that sounds rather obvious, but there's lots of times that, that they don't have that clarity. And then they need to make sure that the person they're hiring is a culture fit, not just a, a resume fit. So it's not just on their, their, their technical skills, their education, their previous experience. That stuff is important, but they also need to make sure that these people are in alignment with their core values and vision. I think one of the best interview questions um, someone can ask when hiring someone is, you know, which of our core values do you feel most aligned with? Uh, first and foremost, that'll show you if, if the, the person, you know, um, being interviewed actually knows your core values. Did they do some due diligence? Did they do some homework? Or did they just mass blast 300 businesses to try to get an interview? Did they actually take the time to say, you know, this business believes in these things and so do I. So that's step one. And step two is then they can actually explain, you know, why they feel aligned and, and, and why they feel that they would be the right fit. I try not to look at people or things as either good or bad or right or wrong. I think it's all about fit. I mean, you might be uh, just the most remarkable candidate. You have an unbelievable education. You have tremendous work experience, unbelievable technical knowledge. But if you're not going to be a good fit for our group, you don't believe what we believe, and you're not going to be able to play nicely with everyone else on the team, then it doesn't matter how talented or experienced you are. You're not the right fit for us. Now, that doesn't mean that you're bad. You may be the right fit for someone else, but it means you're not the right fit for us. So in business, you know, they need to be crystal clear uh, on what they're trying to achieve from the hiring standpoint. They want to make sure that they are only hiring people that are in alignment with what it is they're trying to achieve. And a good portion of that uh, has to do with core values, uh, has to do with um, uh, uh, culture, you know, making sure that people's behaviors and, and beliefs are in alignment. So first and foremost, they've got to get the right people on the team. And then they need to learn what each of those people does really, really well so they can put them in the right positions so that each person can make a maximum contribution to the greater good. Then they need to train and develop and empower and equip those people so that they're constantly improving. They need to make sure they're also holding those people accountable to doing their best work and showing up as their best self as consistently as possible. And then be able to offer real time feedback. And when you can kind of string all of these things together, you know, you, you attract the right people, you put them in the right positions based on their talent, you empower them and you push them and you encourage them, but you still hold them accountable. And now you've got everybody slowly swimming in the same direction, which will move you closer towards that North Star and that goal that you set.